Yes, you. Wewe uko na ngoja, hujachelewa. Hujachelewa sana by the way. Yeah, welcome to 1 million entertainment. Yes, I'm your host Steven Ochieng. Um I okay, karibuni sana. Yes, bila nimesema tuko na guest hapa hivi. Wacha yeye mwenyewe aje introduce. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Wanjira, but they call me Silver. Wewe. Silver. <laughs> Silver medal. Mini gold. <laughs> hey. Hii ngine kwa gani? Franking sasa mando gani? Diamond. Dari, hey, diamond, diamond. <laughs> Chap chap. Kusho tutafika. Tutafika. 50 seconds. Kenya ni ndogo tena kubwa kwa So um Silver uh-huh. before we continue. Uh-huh. What do you do? Uh Silver is a mom. Silver unajua being a mom watu waona ngi kama ni career but it's a career you are a mentor you are everything in one. Mm-hmm. So first of all I'm a mom. I'm a mom of two. I work at some hospital in town. Na piga kibarua hapa na pale. I also do sell beauty products, especially skin products because mm-hmm. skin care is one of the major things I I advocate for. Okay. Yeah. So, if I may ask, um, how do you balance work, parenting, your own time? You understand? Yeah, yeah I get. Uh it's first of all at, when I was I was starting being a mom I became a, a mama a mom at a very young age by the age of 22 I had my first one and you can imagine what 22 year olds are doing at the <laughs> so, so so being a mom at 22 I really fumbled within kujua what is the right thing to do what is the wrong thing to do at 22 years I can tell you for sure you really majority don't really know what they want yeah. so nili nili juggle in between vitu mingi sana in order for me to get to where I am today but I I came to realize without a schedule as an adult there's no way you will work things out first of all you need a schedule first because uh, unajua there's work there's being a mom there's being a sister there's being a neighbor there's being a daughter sure. a friend and also you also have your life wewe as a person unajua kuna ile alone time unataka you wanna travel venye tunasema tutembee Kenya mm, unajua utatembea Kenya ukiwa na mtoto ana breastfeed sana sana kwa sisi <laughs> wenye we don't have so much money <laughs> Unajua for celebs unajua ataenda na ataenda na, na help na all that huko Mansolo kwanza ukikuwa single mother makes it even worse yeah. so i had to to create like um should i just call it a schedule for myself this is one thing that hakuna mtu anaku anakuambia what to do yeah. unajua being an adult as much as tuko na choices mingi ya ku make ni ngumu sana cuz you have to make the right choices these choices impact you and the people around you especially the kids cuz na jump to yana jua tu mzazi if you want anything my mom can do this my mom can do that at times that a wewe kama mzazi hauwezi but hauwezi ambia mtoto wako hauwezi first of all i i would give you like a, a, a small breakdown of what I, how i do things i do wake up at around 6 ngoja kwanza ngoja kwanza six na yeah. uchumi na ndio kwa milioni hapana yeah. hapana uh, what time do you wake up 5:30 okay maybe okay. you have okay. things to do yeah. from that time personally from from 6 i'm good to go okay i start my day at 6 on a normal day 
that is like an everyday life for me i do wake up at 6 i do have morning shows by by 6:30 I start my morning show you need to get ready like get ready with me that is from 6:30 as I get ready to work of course nitaongea cover different topics as we move mm-hmm. and then ni get ready by 8 10 15 there about ni toke ni the job na work from 8:30 to 5:30 from 5:45 5:40 there and engage gym mm-hmm. na piga wow. workout <laughs> Before tuingilia hapo kwa gym. Mm-hmm. Hata mimi nataka motivation. Mm-hmm. Huh? So before you tuingie kwa game kwanza. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know how to play this game? Yeah, I know how to. Okay. <laughs> Or rather I think I know how to. Nice. Yeah. So since you are a guest, we will do naanza. <laughs> Taka tuzunguke Kenya uh, tukiongea tuki, tukisema yeah. so, how back to the gym. Uh-huh. Nataka motivation. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Moja tu. Oh Moja. my god, I'm doing badly guys. I'm doing so badly. <laughs> ni kama hawakunitaka. <laughs> ni kama hawakunitaka but it's okay. So your 540 there na ingia gym. Uh-huh napiga workouts yangu for like two hours at most i never i never go beyond the two hours cuz eh hey, mazee sia tinafanya hiyo kama career <laughs> so two hours ni enough from okay. there naingia mtaani nje ukifika home wase wamepewa homework and all that we need to follow them to see Ay, six peke yake. Ah wananiibia wasi. <laughs> wananiibia but it's okay. <laughs> si oh, you know, hey. Do it again. Ka privilege wasi. Hey, tuko pamoja tukifika. Director. Okay, so like um <laughs> let me ask um what pushed you what motivated you to start gyming? Uh that's a good question. Back in 2020 I was 98 kg. Hey. Hey. Usishangae size. Wewe ameshangaa vibaya wasi. Kuna venye wewe ashangai vizuri. Ikushangaa ni paso. Ama nimi peke yangu wadau. 90 90 I was 98 kg. Wadau 98 kg. Yeah. Mtoto kujua mimi na wewe inga size. Hata sitaki kujua kama wewe yeah, 98. Tafet. <laughs> so being 98 I, I wish I could even pose a picture of how I used to look like I used to look funny mm-hmm. you know this is after childbirth that was after my second wow. born alafu unajua uko hiyo 98 kg covid ndio hiyo ime hit kukula kuka kukula kuka kwanza mtoki kwa nyumba unaenda wapi msi na covid yeah, una get wewe oh, unazungukia tu zero grazing yeah. bedroom kitchen bafu sana sana umeshtuka na wait mpaka hata ucheze unajua ni na faucheze usishtuke boss fanya hivi tutembee Kenya tukijonga yeah. venye nitakupeleka gym acha tupunguze wait unjua kutembea is part of workout <laughs> <laughs> so I had to I had to to do something about it. At that point bado nilikuwa in a very toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. Unajua ile relationship yenye msa na shinanga akikwambia venye unaka eh hey, by the way utakaa hapa kama pig and then what is it? Some words it utalala hivi ujiambi mimi na nguruwe. You can imagine how mm. a pig. Wacha tu pause kwanza u imagine venye pigu ka nguruwe kwanza ile mnono ile eh, sasa so najui zile zile zimekula poa mm. ile ya vucha wa sasa kwa nafanaisha wewe na nguruwe imagine <laughs> so get tissue ni here so tutalia <laughs> tutalia hapo <laughs> kando <laughs> so that really motivated me to do something about it cuz change starts with you yeah and then najua hata uki uko nje ukinurumia and you there's nothing you can do hakuna change itafanyika so mimi mwenyewe as a person i had to take this a step mm-hmm. and start working out so that's how i really motivated myself i went to the gym i started the whole thing mm. yeah 
dad. Wewe wewe utaanza gym lini wewe? Mm. Eh. Mimi sasa unajua kwanza muniombe appetite kuvue. Ah. Unajua hata nienda gym na bado niko na appetite. Is vitu zingine mnapea Mungu kazi ngumu. kuna mwenye anaombea mgonjwa wewe uombewe appetite. Unaona hapa nani wa kwanza? Itakuwa ngumu. Anyway, <laughs> tutaona hiyo mambo. Natumia mboga kwa wingi. Si si bado nitakuwa nikukula. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So. Game tembea Kenya msi. Tembea Kenya mambo kwa una fare. Transport si tuta nini tutatoa tu. Ni mafuta imesha kwa mwingi. So, apart from Jimmy and parenting, mm-hmm. when so sherehe ni nini? Amar uh, I'm not really a party person I wouldn't consider myself one Okay and what do you do uh, for fun Ah uh, okay I I love activities so if there's any hiking we say since a number up or them can pick gear come na cha kwenda hike kama hike kupunguza weight eh si hata mimi mtanipigia sasa wote na hike kila siku sasa kila siku alafu mtalipaje rent na kila siku so this one we are doing for fun for fun for fun siku hapana si kila siku he's telling me i go kila siku niko na swali wewe unanga gym uh-huh utalu utalu weight na siku moja ah na hapana alafu sasa nataka mimi ni ni niache show ni niende hike But you see it's okay I I I like any any activities that uh that, that include me being active that doesn't mean I don't go out yeah. once in a while like go out I tamasha sometimes I tamasha sometimes but in any time I tamasha Roho yako ituli Wewe hapo kwa sherehe roho utuli Hapo hapo unajua like tamasha kwa ujai kanyaga tamasha kinambo ujai kanyaga tamasha nakuuliza Mm. Mm, tamasha naye nimekanyaga I wouldn't say siwe siezienda hata mimi nimekanyaga tu nikienda kwetu yeah ah tamasha si nimekanyaga nikienda kwetu unapitia katikati eh yeah, katikati si useme tu mko nenda kusalimia waiters basi ah huongo hata kama ni maji kwenda kuomba ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i party once in a while it, it, it's no like no shit intended if you you your party person do it at 22 23 uko mimi nilikuwa napiga hizo masherehe mibata that's why you unaona unaona nilikuwa mzazi hiyo time cause we kutulia ilikuwa ni story <laughs> Kutilil kwa story za jaba so at that point um, okay um back to 22 and being a parent at that age mm-hmm. did you have any issues with your parents maybe oh my god um, did they support you like okay tutakusaidia kulewa jukuni ni nini tukae hiyo mom allow me <laughs> if you ever see this <laughs> I tell you for sure I have been raised by a mother who is single because our dad passed on when we were young and my mom was like mzee yangu ndiye alikuwa the best person I'll never remarry which she never did up to to date but now kuna venye u mother alikuwa na to raise ka wanajeshi una get military hiyo ilikuwa military ki plan unajua ile like umekosa kumaliza kwanza ugali ya sapa neno tena Ah si maneno yeah. si utakula asubuhi. Hiyo yeah. si maneno like postpone. Si una postpone meal. Yeah. Kwanza umesaidia watengenezi breakfast. Yeah. So you can imagine from that life up to sasa life yenye ati umepata mtu yeye at 22. Kwanza madhangu alisikia ati I'm pregnant ako like we go we at we eh what? Yeah. Alikuwa surprised that I think akokuwa anajua hata mimi I know how to get you know like as a parent. <laughs> As a parent you get to assume you your daughter at 22 they don't know how to do these things but surprisingly they are doing it unprotected my friend Kwanza wanajua wako na experience unprotected no judgment here but at 22 uko na experience 
yenye hata yeye mwenyewe hajawahi kuwa nayo hajawahi kuwa nayo so it, it wasn't so easy first of all my mom told me mimi na wewe tuitani chochote from today from journey nisikie una come home nisikie you ever want to associate with me mm-hmm. and all that cause i i come from a family where they believe in getting married getting kids but sasa mimi but nilikuwa ni, ni, the bad example unajua kwa, kwa any family fa, family gathering wanasemanga msikwe kama nani sasa, sasa mimi sasa walikuwa nakutumia kama bad example mimi nilikuwa huyo nani sasa msikwe yeah. kama nani yeah. i had a very harsh time during your period cause baba mtu yuko kwanza amesema mimi i'm not ready to be a father yeah. mama yangu ameniambia usijaribu kuniita mama we mimi sasa nimekauka hapa <laughs> directors today today tissue mtakulia <laughs> so it was it wasn't so easy it was hard it was it was the worst time of my life i look at people these days and uh, every day yani nikiona tu a young person na feel kumsimamisha kumuongelesha by the way chill hii mwe ndo naenda msee hakuna yeah. place unaishi yeah, una get so it took me it took it took a lot of me convincing myself that you have to live this life i contemplated suicide so many times but saka sikujua hiyo siku si unaniona hapa wewe jua mimi niko Yeah, so that was it. Okay. Um to our viewers you can give us your thoughts. Yaani I I mean I imagine to be mama kwa kwa shout alafu nimesikia kulia wanabia. Our dear viewers tuambie kwa shape experience kaa hiyo kwa shape ambiwa amuitani chochote na saizo hiyo ni mzazi. Mm-hmm. Eh, nikiambiwa hivyo. Mwenye mimi anaruka. Oh, is not your blood. Mzazi. Lakini mzazi you so, the only person. Ah, so uh, mimi najua kuna madimu huko nje wengi sana wamepitia social sky hizo. Okay. Kuna wengine wana opt hata kuni suicide tukae hiyo juu hawana anywhere anyway, to go. True, true. Na si atisijayo na I see a lot of them huko nje. Yaani to me mimi ningependa like uh, kukuwa na ile program ya yeah? you know these young mothers mm-hmm. like uh, wana wanahitaji ile counseling wapalishwe chini waongeleshwe waambiwe okay it's gonna be fine with guys you know, and just share uh, like someone like you you know like if unge give up your time or say now mm-hmm. what am i going to do you end up doing drugs or kind of stuff yeah. ama you end up doing prostitution you say me ah it's the end mm-hmm. ni kwa mbaya sana True. because kuna madimu wengi hata uh, not even 22 kuna madimu at 17 15 they have kids mm-hmm. yeah, true, so na they are neglected mm-hmm. so wanaishi tu uh, kuna wengine hata wajamaliza shule mm-hmm. but wako na ile wanatamani wangeendelea na shule but they can't but they can't mm-hmm. kuna wazazi wale wa wa understand true sitaki kuita hiyo accident because ilikuwa leisure mm-hmm. that turned to an accident <laughs> <laughs> but at least but at least mm-hmm. uko na ile sako ambayo okay you did this it's a mistake mm-hmm. and uh, ukirudia mistake ndio inakuanga sasa hiyo imekuwa mazoea mm-hmm. but now that umefanya hii once um tumalizane na hiyo we go back to school and uendeleshe maisha yako but you see most african parents they don't know i hey, cannot like, give you that chance they don't understand that but to parents out there that's that, like i'm not supporting uh, young girls having kids at a young, uh, uh, at a young uh, yeah, age yeah, yeah. but i'm just saying if it happens mm-hmm. you know na, as parents to avoid hii mambo ya wasichana kuangukia drugs kwenda kufanya vitu fani fani huko nje like prostitution or kutumika vibaya they just support them and say okay you did a mistake you are my kid touch in in for you being far and you just have to go back to but school but you know Irene be before 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 go kaishi chini by the way but you know you always need to move a limo but it's okay 
okay. Yeah. Um, leave it but um, correct. But, but you see, you before that we yeah. get to that point, we should normalize having sex conversations with our kids. I, okay. Like yeah. these young, these young yeah. girls, these young boys. You need to talk to them about sex. Exactly. But parents like this is a topic in uh, Africans we really avoid as if it doesn't happen. Because like you know, shit I'm really happens. Like who does that? Like honestly, after my son and and I say Ali Nyembe, you may know where people get kids. Nika Nika, I'm curious and I was like, who was teaching this boy about sex? And he's like, no, kids are adopted. Mm-hmm. And I was like, few. Yeah, you see, so a lot of guys. Yeah, but we need to normalize sex conversations. True, by the way, true. at a at a at a young age, because I think kids are more active these days than like they were. Uh, I, I I don't understand. Kids are active, man. Kids are active. There's a video that was going around for a teacher. Mwenye mm-hmm. aliskia the kids discussing about six nine. I don't know whether you've seen that video. Ah, pewa tayo. Me, 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 Mama na baba wametoa nguo. Oh. Anyway, to look at story like I know being a parent it's disturbing. It's, it's bad. disturbing I, or rather just being an adult when you may interact with kids and even have small sisters or my brothers. It's 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 a really touchy topic when it gets to you getting to get that kids know a lot of things. So kids are so active these days we should normalize sex conversations. And and do you think uh do you think some programs TV programs pia uaribu watoto? Like kuna shows yeah, of course. It, and kitu kingine nime notice squeeze mpaka in cartoons kuna gays gays yeah yeah like it, it's just that it's it's all over there's no way we're going even to protect our kids from knowing these things and that's why i say mm. on a daily basis learn to pray for your kids because at the end of the day you might not walk with them to every place they go you might not be able to filter the people they in- interact with on a normal like on a, on a daily basis but you can just pray for them to be protected mm. Cause sasa mimi kwanza tangu ni tangu ni ni, ni juu yuko kitu na ni like ni one different experiences. If you come to my shows on a morning, like every day, you see my son come to my room and knock when he's ready to go to school. We pray. I pause everything. Yeah. We pray and then he goes and he knows it's a normal thing. He can't just walk and yeah. go. Yeah. He knows we need to pray. And if you create that in your kids, they will grow away. True. Like lead them in the right way. Waki waki industry uko badai. At some point utakuwa na kawa na sema by then my mom used to pray. Mm, my mom used yeah. to do this. Because mm-hmm. imagine wewe hata sasa hizi ukiwa mkubwa hivi there things una, unafanya gani unajua ni mbaya but at some point uko like hey, by the good and God gonna say ama. Sindio so learn to teach your kids in the ways of the Lord ama the right ways because we all believe in different things. Yeah. Yeah. Mimi ni sijatembea. Mimi ndio sijatembea Kenya. <laughs> ah, let's see. Oh mm. my god. Six. See how lucky. Nilieleza mimi na nachezea tu kwa ma punch matri. So yani ni mko tu 6 sana. Nimekataa ku lose weight. Wewe utaweza unajua kama kwa mwana anapenda hivyo. This is counted. Yes, just go down. Ah, uh, SGR. SGR. Wewe. Bado hiyo hajafika hapa. Si ukifika hapa unaenda una, una, una oh, six. But amepita 6. Sasa si this is 1 2 3. Alafu I need 5 6. 6. Yes. <laughs> Am I going back? Yeah. No. Unatumia long cut. Oh, au uh, ulikuwa Eh nili nilipiga 6 mse. Ai, hao watu wananiibia. Sio ndio mechi za 3. Nitie polisi. Sio ndio mechi za 3. No, they, that was 6. Th- those were 6 moves. Six. Uh, okay, okay. Nani ni polisi hapo 07 cause eh hey, polisi polisi DCI. 5 uh, tonde 5. Yaani mimi Mungu tu. Yaani Mungu, Mungu si ubariki hata wengine. <laughs> Kwa watu wote umeona tu mimi jamani. <laughs> Kwa watu wote mimi utanimaliza Mungu. Na mbona mmeniacha Gidorai? 
Ah, si uko sawa, si ulijifanya unaenda na Yesu. Jioni mzito, si unaona usongi, ni 1 2, ni 1 2 3 <laughs> hapo tu. Ah, wana afanye hivi, si tukue na ka gym session na wewe. Kesho. Huyu tabidi mwite ka. Gym date. Ni tabidi mwite ka ndio. So, mpea gym. Ni kama hata mkono umekuwa mzito. Hello. Si unajua unja kutembea Kenya, tumekuwa tambali. Sawa bas, acha tembe. Kama steam gun. Oh my god. Steam when was the last time you did? But was it to Mesonga Kuna Venye? Sasa yangu ni gani? Si ni huyu Mkenya, wewe ndio Mkenya pekee yako. Oh. So you're not Kenya. Big fish. Pekee five. five. Hapo. Ni hapa. Eh hey, wewe msi. Unataka tuibia tena. Sababu na kulemea. Kenya. Jangi. Jangi. Moving on forward. Ah. Uh, Ulisema ulikuwa mama at 22. Mhm. Ah, uh, kuna wasichana wengi by the way. Uh, wanta kusikia hii from from kwa mm-hmm. what, what advice can you give them first of all if you've gotten yourself in a state where you are a mother at that young age kwanza usi usi rush into so many things go and sit down wewe as a person if possible take a pen and paper just sit down have a meeting with yourself ajite kuta any important very important unajua at 22 oh, uko na how many years okay wacha nisikulize how many years are you nikikuuliza at 22 wewe the 22 year olds wenye unajua saizi wana do nini ndio au ndio unaonanga zile sandals zenye wanasema anga tulijuaje napenda miondoko those ones yeah. so at 22 you, you you really you really haven't experienced a lot but maybe you met this young guy who swept you off your feet it's normal or rather it's almost normal mm-hmm. so you fell in love with this person you decided to to become a parent for reasons anyway mwenye ndio unajua maybe you didn't know of family planning maybe you didn't know of um god god hapo kwa family planning sema tu kweli mbele ya Mungu unataka kufunza kuna mtu ajuangi family planning at 22. Yeah. Ignorance. Not everyone is exposed by Ashwe. the way. I, I I I used to I used to say that until I learned hmm. not everyone by the way. Do you know there are people who are how like the very basic things in your of career everyone knows. The people are tambui. Hata watu wote. Kuna watu yeah, kuna watu wa wana hiyo exposure in your of career wako nayo. So maybe at that point you didn't you didn't know or rather you knew but you thought maybe you're not at like at that age ya kutumia Okay. Okay. So to me mm, kuna tu ka, ka kitu kama ni strike. Mm. Kama ni acha ni at least ni same. Okay, what, what do you think? Mm. Uh kuna nai program ya like live alone kutao ama nini tembe kwa villages kuna ama young girls talking to them. to them whether they have kids or not you just like uh, unaunda ama in schools unaongea uh, like we go talk to them yeah it's a uh, hard like wajifunze mm-hmm. those when ya tuta wafiki, at least they can they can yeah yeah it's a good thing it's a good initiative i even told like if you follow me or rather you you heard me say this today I said kama kutawai kwa na any initiative around Eldoret mm-hmm. ya yeah, empowering and all that for the girls and all that call me. I'm ready, I'm in. We will get funds, we will get everything that will enable us to do this. I can't do this alone. Yeah, true. As much as I may have the experience ya sijui miaka ngapi at the age of 30, mm-hmm. I can't do it alone. So if there there's if you're interested to have a group or rather like a group here let me say yenye we can we can we can be forming some days ya tunaenda tuna visit yeah. uh, madem mushago nini nini mm-hmm. i'm in cause at that point kama ningekuwa na msi alikuwa ananiongelesha closely and giving me examples of 
by the Mimi, I don't think Ninge fall into that trap. Because mm. the trap I fell into was like, Uspon Pem to Easter Kua. So, go like, okay, Mimi, this is the only mahi. Umse kwanza when you come in, you know, 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 Watch a kidney, oh, 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 like mse mama una imagine oh god do you know what mothers do i am say oh that you have a mother maybe you don't have a mother or rather maybe you've not been raised with one you know there are so many so mothers do a lot of things mm -hmm. so you can imagine mimi from giving up my party life Mm -hmm. Me from giving up my friends and all that. At you know, just lot nenda vashas juni ni iso stories vashas squeezy mina skia gatu ni kwa zalai kuwa. Me kwa yo group ya wa. I mean the only. Me kwa we. Me me sasa ndo na lead kwa yo zawa. Hmm. Just as surely. We at you twenty two una una wa tu kio kwa how. Kwa zuna jo juu ata ku breastfeed una funzwa. Because you think it's it, it, it just comes up how you're supposed to sit, how you're supposed to bend, and you know your period refuses a copy of you by the time una maliza So you 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 showed everything. So it's 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 not it's not very easy it's tough. I would advise come away when a mother of whatever at that young age, try get women i'm a people who've gone through it try listen to their stories but most importantly jite to meeting no si chelewe meeting no uko on time uko on time yes we to squeeze ah ukuje kwa meeting na ukwe na kalamu na karatasi at least uko na note down important points because it's important for you to note that Mm -hmm. Yes, I have done a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have messed up. First of all, uki admit hivyo kwanza inakuwa easy. Okay. So unaanza kujihandle ni ka, ni, ka, ni, ni, ni kama ukikubali you are a Christian. Mm -hmm. Unajua being a Christian and practicing Christianity is different. Very different. Mm -hmm. Those are two different things. Mm -hmm. There are Christians who don't practice Christianity. Just the way unaweza kuwa mama, ume go through shit, but you're not admitting that. So how learn from the from the experience? Mm. So if you you you've gotten to that point, call yourself for a meeting, admit that you're wrong, and don't feel like at the hey, mama ngo na kwam kali for no good reason. See no good reason. Try imagine this is your kid. Uta feel you chungu eni pia wewe as a mother. Unajua when African parents wana ngo janga arusi. Me kwanza sayi ni kambi ya mama ngo na fanya arusi. Wewe unajua sherehe ni zafanywa kwa hiyo village. What I done? Ah lazima mkamu. Unaona kama ulikuwa majuu utakamu. Utalipiwa <laughs> ndege. <laughs> you get so it's important for you to note that your parents have very huge expectations on you so try your level best to not disappoint them. I'm not saying kids are disappointment but we can all agree unwanted kids mazi. Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so silver mm -hmm. as we wind up um ningetaka tu kuombea like hiyo about your program mm -hmm. uh tuta plan mm -hmm. na crew so wane venye tunaweza panga tuende tufanye hivyo because it's very important it's important to me, like it's yeah. very very important yeah. you know, like talking to them but um what we can do is uh we can't just go talk to them Ibu. at least you can get them pads, mm -hmm. you understand yeah. you just 
can't just walk in someone's home or, or church or somewhere you just talk to them empty handed you yeah. at the you yeah. so yeah. you talk to them and you tell them okay this and that mm-hmm. and um, in case of anything this is how you can reach us if you feel like you have a problem or anything this mm-hmm. is how you can reach us mm-hmm. we talk yeah and they just have to know that um There's whatever is happening cares. it's not like the end of everything mm-hmm. you just have to know life continues yeah. you understand True. so um we will talk about it we'll discuss and then we'll let you know where, when we can start that mm-hmm. and we just pray itakuwa itakuwa poa i'm sure with yeah. the with the all the, all the willingness yeah we are going to do it mm-hmm. because the way squeezy uh this young is having babies like squeezy na nanga mpaka kuna meme hakuna demwana mtu unaona like every girl so na unajua that we are talking of kids have you have you have you checked on the numbers of depression on these yeah. young people yeah. huh? <laughs> like kuna kuna group ni kwa ndani walituma video juzi a mama anapiga mtoto mpaka anamkanyaga na hivi sh- na shingo na huyu mtoto mmeza eh mtoto mtoto wa 4 years eh. anakanyagiwa juu wewe imagine me you wait yango nikanyagie mtoto hata kama si cause you depressed nikikukanyaga wewe utafikiri you depressed you stressed asiona letia mimi diamond hiyo kijana mdogo kijana mdogo kama mimi like ni pena mzazi nikipigia yani mshoo <laughs> It's very bad. Yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, apart from talking to those girls, yeah. even these mothers, doesn't matter you are 30, 40, your depression is like mtoto. Yeah. Whatever transpired between you and the, the, the guy, you mm. in. If you feel like fighting, go fight the man. But you see most of these depressed people don't know they are depressed. They don't, but wengine It's not that's why it's it's it's, so, it's it's also good to check on your friends guys it's also good to check on your friends check on your friends check on your neighbors check on your on your ca- like kuna jua hapana mimi nikiku text nikwambia sasa Irene uko poa eh it's been a minute we have coffee tomorrow ama mm. on friday so. tuki t- sita kujani sasa Irene nikwambia yeah. i wanna know how you've been si tutapiga story and then i get to know whether you are okay or something True. That those cousins when yata ujwangi tangu azai ujaimsikia Thank you.